Attention, this demo is based on the alpha build. The game may change on full release and they hope I enjoy. Holy shit, look at that pixelation. Hello, welcome to Bedtime Blues, a pixelated game with a bear in it. That's all I know. Let's get into it. Story mode, endless night. Okay, it really makes me think of uh, night blights very quickly. Uh, oh. Oh, how do. Oh, gee. Okay, you definitely right now reminding me of night blights. The window, use your flashlight when the teddy climbs through the window. Make sure to listen closely. Of the bedroom door. Use your flashlight when the teddy opens the bedroom door. Brother's bed. When the teddy appears on the bed, make sure to close your eyes. The flashlight the window. Flashlight the door. Close your eyes on the bed. The alarm. When the alarm makes noise, be sure to turn it off or the teddy will move faster. Under the bed. Listen close for when the teddy crawls under the bed. Then use the blue... F the blue... What the fuck's the blue flashlight? Like a portable one, maybe? Sleep meter. Try and survive the night by getting some sleep, as the mind can play tricks on us. Be careful the teddy can appear in multiple... But at the same time? Like I can tell... I'm guessing that means at the same time. Right mouse button. Close eyes. Left mouse flashlight. The blue bar is flashlight's charge. Press R to recharge while you're under the... Well, I'm the... Do, can I, do I have free movement, or am I stuck on the bed like in... Uh, Boogeyman. Check under the bed is Q. Sounds like I'm stuck, but it says while I'm under the bed. So while I check under the bed with Q, I can spam R? The yellow bar is the flashlight's charge. Press R to recharge when you're above the bed. What? So blue meter for flashlight when holding Q? I, I don't fucking know. We're gonna die a few times, probably, uh, before I get adjusted to this game, but apparently it's like five... No, not five nights, uh... For generations, my family has passed these toys down, from my grandfather, to my father, then to me. And now it's time to pass it down to my son. I remember these dummies always getting me in trouble, always causing a fuss. But I was young. It was probably just a bad dream. Hell, when you're a child, your mind plays tricks on you wasn't going to hand them down. I was actually going to be the first to break the tradition. But my father got sick, and I made a promise that I would keep it alive. Keep it going. So, now keep my word. Even if it's an odd request my father made before his death. My son's getting ready to turn five, which is the age that I was whenever I got these toys. Let's just hope he enjoys them more than me. Okay, if, if it's all obviously broken, why haven't you thrown it out? He's like, oh, I hope my son enjoys these toys more than me, because I, I, oh, it was miserable. But I just didn't throw it out. You know, I, I want to keep my dad's promise, even against my own will. Who, who needs to think critically when he could just sort of keep a teddy bear that you didn't have fond memories of, but your dad had fond, fond memories of? Okay, oh, I get to move around, or no, prologue. No. Nope. Don't tell me the mouse... Okay, great, great. This is the kind of game where the mouse cursor goes outside the fucking windowed monitor. Why? 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 Okay, be right back. Alright, I put it in full screen mode. Let, let's get back into it, because, you know... I love it when people... Like, uh, I... Playing windowed mode is the best thing one can do in a lot of games, just so I can look at a timer. You just see the option. I hate how some, a lot of indie games, they just have it so the mouse cursor can escape the window, and it's not stuck in the game. Where, like, if you hit the escape button, usually that makes it so the mouse becomes enabled, the cursor becomes visible again. Apparently not for a lot of games in the indie scene, but, yep. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything hidden in the prologue, but I want to just get straight to the gameplay, rather. Flashlight the window, flashlight the door, close eyes on brother's bed. Six 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 six. Okay, the teddy bear I think is there. This. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking for in terms of uh, the bear. Like, is it that bear? Do I... 
weird. Like, will he make noise when he moves? Because I sus. And there we go. Fuck off. So, he makes noise no matter what. I should be able to keep my eyes closed then. Or else I'll go insane, apparently. Fuck off. Um, oh yeah, balloons. Ah oh yeah, balloons were always there. I gotta check my bed though, for sure. You, fuck off. Hmm? But does he make noise, my question? Me good night, where? I don't know. Oh, geez, that wasted much. Oh, geez. He's on. Remember to close my eyes. Well, I didn't see him on the brother's bed. I just saw him there, quite literally. <laughs> If I saw him on the bed, then I would have closed my eyes. I had to reread the thing, though. Bedroom door, yeah. Brother's bed. When you think he appears on the bed, I didn't see him on the bed. Unless I was blind, he was on it, and I just missed it when I was turning off the alarm. The teddy will move faster. Listen close for when the teddy crawls under the bed, then use the blue flashlight. So. Uh, it'll probably make a unique noise to indicate that he is. Try and survive the night by getting some sleep. I'm assuming some sleep just means, I don't know, on the bottom right, it's... Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, okay, let, let's, let's do a much better job this time. This game certainly has a lot of fucking loading. For a game like, you know, that's all... Uh, it's just a single room. I'm just in a room. And apparently, it needs to load quite a lot. Maybe it's the pixelation filter. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Why is it only one that's trying to kill me? All the rest are inanimate. No idea. But, nonetheless, yeah, go to sleep and what? More loading? More loading. So, you start the main game, it loads for a cutscene. You, you skip the cutscene, it loads for the prologue. You go to bed for the first episode, it loads. Three loading, just to get to the first first level. Uh, I also wish there was a more sensitive... Like, more sensitivity in the mouse, personally. <coughs> eh. Otherwise, I think what I should do... Is just keep my eyes closed in case he's on the bed. Never have my eyes open. I'm sort of disoriented, like, when I go under the bed, too. Like, am I, I'm in the center of the bed? I, I don't get it, but... Hmm, whatever. Ugh. Come on, come on. Oh, see, he just teleports like that. Okay, well, I'll, I, at least I can reload the flashlight with my eyes closed. Mommy, good night. Oh, he reappeared. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's not cool. Come on. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Okay, I can turn off the clock with my eyes closed, that's good too. Well, so far so good. Hmm. 
Hmm? Oh jeez. Just right, right. Is that a knife in his hand? He's got a knife in his hand. He has a fucking knife. Why would he be under my bed like that, though? And I know all the sounds, so I don't think I'll lose, though. Oh, so is that a spit on my screen or a dead pex? Okay, that's just spit. Thank God. Ugh. No. Get out of her. And wh why do I have a wound, a wind-up fucking flashlight? What's with horror games doing that? I don't get it. No, get out of her. I don't see how I'll be able to lose now. Unless they do like a bear on the brother's bed and the bear at the window at the exact same time. Oh my god. No, it's still easy. I don't know if they'll try to play it all tricky a little later. If it, I, I don't know. Wait. I swear I heard something. Oh, my nose is so itchy. God, he's everywhere now. Well done, you fell asleep and made it one... And made it one hour closer to sunrise. New level unlocked! Great! I wonder how many levels there are in the in this demo, but hey, I don't think I'm going to die unless they introduce something new to the second level. I'm going to assume they're just going to escalate how frequent he arrives, but since I got the mechanics down, I don't really foresee it getting more difficult, again, unless they add more. Oh, no. Notes are good. What is note? Your will. Your will with either some blood or some fecal stains on it. Oh, it's... Can you, can you get off my screen? Thank you, thank you. Thank you! Now... Um... I guess we're just gonna go to bed and do it again. Chapter 2, The Child's Mind. No worries, I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend I'm sleeping and then destroy the teddy with my flashlight numerous times until he fucks off. With my extremely non-sensitive mouse. Like seriously, this kid moves his neck super slow, he's like... It's like, move your neck fucking faster, seriously. Alright, so nothing really has gone on in the second night. I'm just destroying this teddy with ease and... I don't know. Uh, what probably really helps is since I can keep my eyes closed and turn the alarm off and recharge the flashlight, it, it makes it not so problematic. So all you have to do is basically close... Mm, well, this is not a good timing. Two at the same time, exact same time. That's not cool. Wait. As long as he's not on the bed, too. Okay. Finish. Oh. Okay, well, that was a little. That was a little more personal as expecting. I don't know why it was on the desk. That was a little creepy. Because I just heard the window open, but he's already. Well done. You fell asleep. Uh, another level? Really? Wow. 
Well, since nothing happened, I'm sure the recording that there's not much to, like, there's not, I just hope it doesn't go, like, it's a level 6 or something. But fine, not, barely anything happened to level 2, I'll play level 3, see what's up. Um, because I'm sure I'm maybe just a little bit over 10 minutes right now in terms of recording after I'm done editing. And, uh, I don't know, let's just keep at it, why not? Finish the demo, I don't want a multi-part demo, I, I try to avoid that. What? A note and oh no, you ripped the stuffing out. Or is it... did did the teddy bear fucking get on top of this and it just like fuck the bunny really hard in the ass? And that's just that's just like the leftover scene. The bunny got violated. Like, come on, you, you can't tell me this doesn't look like the bunny was violated. Look at that position. Wait, what? Wait, what's? Oh, he was also stabbed. He was also stabbed. So he, he was violated and then stabbed. Uh, in between the eyes and two times in the chest? Unless that one down there is not a shadow. I think that is a shadow. Just two knives in the chest. The rest are just shadows. He violated and stabbed. It's great. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Your father's will... Oh. Your, your father's something will do something. Alright, well, if we finish this, it might get the final clue and it'll be the end of the demo. So let's just get this done and hope the third, this level, is the last one. I'm gonna predict I will just completely destroy this level very confidently. Wait, window. Wait, why did I hear the window open? Suspicious. And his cranky pants. 2 a.m. No, oh, three at a time. Great. Three. Fun. Three at a time. How many teddies do I fucking have? It's supposed to be one, but they can be at three different locations at once. That makes no sense. Oh, come on. On the whole three again. Come on. I think he's on the brother's bed. Wow. Come on. Mm, fucking hell. There we go. Easy. Easy. Three at a time is the, what they can do. I mean, the rest is just like doing the right time or knowing how fast it takes before they... Before one and the... Like, what if the one under the bed can attack faster than the door? Depending on attack intervals, basically. But unless they're all the same, depending on when they activate, then they can't really do too much. Come on. I think he's on the bed too, I think. Yeah, he is. Shit. Nope. No. Nope. Fuck off. Uh, it was the last one, but that was a little problematic. I was trying to turn off the alarm, but I didn't seem to be able to. Okay. Thank you for playing the alpha demo coming 2018. Alright, um, oh, it doesn't tell me the last of the story. Death screen fixed, bedroom free roam added, new sounds added, new tweaks. If I hit story mode, I guess I don't get to see what the last of the note says. Oh, that's great. Nonetheless, um, that was Bedtime Blues. I hope you enjoyed this game. It is sort of like Night Blades, though, without the free roam. Because when I heard free roam, I I sort of thought more of, of the uh, Night Blades. But instead, yeah, it's very much like uh, Boogeyman. The Boogeyman series. Boogeyman. Boogeyman 1 and Boogeyman 2 and Frosty Nights that he did afterwards for Christmas. Something like that. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this game demo. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber. The bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.